Greetings, I'm Ben O'Neill Haran, the restorer of past to dwell. This is the adoption of Abba's Israelites. Please join us and spread this weekly video presentation. This subject is, Why do we cry, Abba Father? In the spirit of adoption, we cry, Abba Father. Greetings, I'm Ben Haran. Open and cry from my Bible, Mark 14, 32 through 36. And they came to a place which was called Glishmaham. And he said to his disciples, You sit here while I shall pray. And he takes with him Peter and James and John and began to be sore amazed and to be very heavy. And he says unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. You tarry here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible that the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto you. Take away this cup from me, nevertheless not what I will, but what you will. If the Israelite Jesus cried to Abba, Father, then we must be like him and cry to Abba, Father. Abba means in Greek and Hebrew, Dad or Father. Abba, Father, the only God, God of Israel, the living God. Abba, Father is mentioned three times in the Bible. Let's go to a little bit of it and so you can see. Mark 14, 36. What the Israelite Jesus called God while praying. Romans 8 and 15. The spirit of adoption where we cry, Abba, Father, to be heard. Waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Heirs of God. Joint heirs with Christ. Galatians 4. 4 through 7. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that they might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, God has set forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore you are no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. To redeem them under the law, that we might receive the adoptions of sons. We are adopted sons because we have Abba in our hearts, crying Abba, Father, as an heir qualifies us for the promise of eternal life. Father in the New Testament, F is capitalized because it was translated from Abba, which means an intimate relationship with your daddy. So it should be read Abba. Get your Bible out, fan through the New Testament, and see how many times Father is capitalized. And when reading, substitute Father with Abba and the Lord with Abba Father. Then you will understand why I identify with God as Abba Father. My father, call no man on earth father. Let's look at that in Matthew 23, 9 through 11. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither you be called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Call no man mister, missus, Mr. Reverend, Doctor, nor put any name in front of your new name. Let's go to Revelations 1 and 8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end, which is and which is to come. Therefore, I capitalize the beginning and ending of the word Abba to designate the one and only God, the God of Abba Israelites. We are the old and new people of God, Abba Father. 
our Father, God, the electron in every atom and the molecule and everything, that which makes atoms move, cling together or grow. Abba is everything and in everybody. Go to israelitesadoption.org, click to read, O to Abba Father. Closing Cry, Romans 8, 14 through 17. As for many are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption where we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. And if it so be that we suffer with him, that we might also be glorified together. Amen? Amen. This is the way to eternal life through the spirit of adoption, where we cry, Abba, Father. Be good, and Abba will bless you. I appreciate you listening to my path to dwell. I hope you gain some knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Cow. We ask for donations according to your blessings and what your heart dictates for the fruitful growth of Abba's Israelites. For more informative lessons are at israelitesadoption.org. Thanks.